with bigger profits in your small business? Like many of us, I'm sure you're feeling it. Business is hard, and now more than ever, you need to have a plan to help your business not just survive, but thrive. I'm Marcia Reiner. I'm a business growth strategist on a mission. I've helped tons of small business owners to establish and implement tangible plans that guarantees increased profitability and guide your growth. I want to share some of those strategies that I've earned and learned on today's Profit with a Plan podcast. But before we get started, I have something to share with you. I've got this great five ways to turn your business into an attractive piece that's worth selling. So go pick that up on my website at trajectorybiz, that's B-I-Z dot com. So I'm really excited to have my guest with me. He's a friend of mine here locally, Pete Black. Pete is a commercial and uh, relationship banking officer with California Bank and Trust with over 20 years banking experience dedicated to helping business owners manage and improve their capital structure to meet their vision. It's all about planning, guys. Uh, Pete has experienced in all sorts of business loans, business or lines of credit, and commercial property financing. Prior to joining uh, California Bank and Trust three years ago, Pete was a senior relationship manager at Pacific Premier Bank and Opus Bank, assisting in businesses with funding to meet their growth objectives. Pete maintains an active role in supporting organizations such as the Junior Achievement and Banking on Youth to help mentor youth people to learn about business and money managed skills. Great things. Uh, Pete also earned his um, bachelor's at, uh, of business at Michigan State University. Uh, is that Wolverines? No, I'm probably butchering that one. And uh, lives in South Orange County. So welcome to the podcast, Pete. I'm so glad you're here. Hi, good morning, Marcy. I'm you too. Uh, it's 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 called Go Green. We're 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 the green team. Green team, um, cool. Yeah, we're we're I guess we're the UCLA of Michigan, kind of. But um, uh, thank you so much for uh, letting me join you. I want to first uh, open up and say this is an amazing service you're doing. Um, I went through some of your uh, your uh, your historical uh, uh, podcast. It's 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 amazing. So uh, I want to focus and, and and assist folks as best I can. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we have a great conversation set up for today. Um, one of the things that I know that uh, business owners forget or maybe don't develop as strong as they should is that banking business relationship. You know, they go online. There's so many banks online. They think, oh, I can scan my check. I don't need to go into the branch. But I think business banking relationships are super important to develop before you need it, right? For sure. Yeah. For sure. So tell me about what um, what a typical business relationship looks like with you and your clients. Yeah, good. That's a good overall question. Well, what is a relationship? Um, obviously, it's similar to, to any other relationship. So, um, you know, it's a two-way street, um, meaning uh, hopefully uh, you have uh, in your business relationships with your advisors and you're going to have a very solid one and uh, intimate, to be lack of a better word, with your CPA and the people that plan your financial future and how your, your taxes and your, and your statements look. And then obviously on my side, banking is uh, how your capital looks, how it looks today, how it looks in the future. So to me, a relationship is when, when people come to me, even if it's not about business, to me, people, a relationship is me, to me when do you have uh, some uh, symbiotic uh, sharing of information because, you know, I rely on my clients for new business too. I mean, you know, the referral game, not a game, the referral uh, <laughs> uh, 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 atmosphere it's how we all thrive, as you, as, as you say. So a relationship to me is a two-sided exchange and it's cultivated. It's, it's, it's nurtured. Not every day, even once a month, even twice a year, I meet with clients and it's like you met them yesterday. That's a relationship. Fantastic. Fantastic. I love that. Well, it is really important that you build a certain team around you as business owner. One of those is like your, you mentioned your CPA. You don't talk to the CPA every week, but you're, you're working with that CPA to do the things that you need throughout the year. Another one is an attorney. You may not need that attorney now, but you probably want to schedule once or twice a year a meeting with that attorney to make sure you're lined up. Well, the business banking relationship is just as important as those two other ones. Because I think when you have a need for your money and how to manage it, and what are you doing to, to improve it? 
throughout the year because you're saving some, you're, you're buying equipment, you're, you're running your credit card charges. These are all relationships that are perfect through your business banker. Absolutely. I mean, uh, I, I don't want to come up with a tagline this, uh, this close into it, but maybe yeah. so is think about it like this way. The old adage used to be, which is not really true, is uh, people who um, uh, when they when they when they have money, uh, they, they they don't they don't need money or when they need money, it's tougher to get that. That's kind of true, kind of not true. But what I say, what I thought of was um, I wrote it down is, um, you know, if, if you you don't have a relationship with your banker and it's a tough deal, it's tougher to get done. Let's just put it that way. Um, uh, I can go back on one of my first large deals here a couple of three years ago. And I had to go to the upper level management and I, I couldn't explain why it wasn't getting done. In fact, she said it one sentence. She said relationships, Pete. And I said, what does she mean by that? She had the phone number of somebody that I could never get to in the bank. So relationships are cultivated um, to, to establish them. It's because you may or may not need them in the future, but you can't build one and have a result the next day. That's I mean, so true. So true. And you know what? I think all businesses will need one in the future, whether it's a business line of credit or it's a commercial commercial property purchase or they're looking to cut their fees a little bit or maybe they're just looking for a new credit card. These are relationships that can really help you out in the future as a business owner when you want to raise capital. And, and so it's, it's that, that's why I'm, that's why I had you on today, because I know it's so important. You know, we're all looking at different ways to grow our business and, and capital is one of those. And you can't do it. Like you said, you can't walk in and go, hi, I'm Marcia. Your name's Pete. Fantastic. I need a million dollar line of credit. Can you help me with that? And Pete, you're going to go, what? I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's, it's part of that. And, 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 and in thinking with that is, um, um, it's funny because you're leading right into what I was going to talk about in a minute Good. here is, uh, believe it or not, the end game may or may not be how, obviously, the end game to me is one of three prongs, right? And then I'll get into the end game of, of, of success. Um, so real briefly, um, and I'm kind of off track here, but um, I think of myself as uh, something resonated with me, and it's a three prong idea that um, as a banker or uh, of service, um, that's number one. I need to be of service. Number two, I need to have knowledge. I, I can't go running around without knowledge. So I got to keep that up. Number three, believe it or not, is you got to be a scrapper. You've got to be a champion and an advocate for your client. And that's how deals get done. The other way deals get done, of course, we're in advisors too. That's the fourth prong. But the other way deals get done is exactly what you were leading up to. Believe it or not, a true business bank. I'm a true business bank, Cal Bank and Trust. I'm devoted, hopefully, to the servicing and the prosperity and the growth for the future of a business, be it small, medium, or large. And what I meant by that was, um, therefore, have, guess what? Relationship rates. Yeah. I don't Ooh. have a sheet rate. I don't, I, 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 I'm, I'm giving experience and I'm giving longevity, but also giving them the fact that I'm your quarterback. I'm your point guard. I don't know everything, but I will get you everything and anything if it means the retaining of that relationship that's mutual. It's, it's symbiotic. So yeah. that's how I roll. I mean, I, that's how we do it here. But, but that's fantastic. And that's what the business owner and the consumer needs to understand right. that there are things you can get with friends with benefits. No <laughs> kidding. Of, um, friends no with kidding. benefits, you can get a better rate on your line of credit. You can get a better rate on, you know, even your personal lines or homes or, you know, car things, you know, whatever you need in, a, in, a, in your business and in your financial life it requires that relationship to get a better opportunity, to get a better rate, maybe to get, you know, well, hey, we're business owners. So our income is not as, you know, traditional as a W-2 employee. Um, you know, we have, you know, uh, odd things that go on. We have ups and downs in our income. Maybe we take a small, you know, piece of the, of the income, but, you know, our, all of our expenses get paid out of the business. 
business bankers like yourself understand that rather than going off to some online online bank who may have you know a great rate but they're not going to understand how us business owners run our income and our statements and and pay ourselves to be able to qualify for that kind of financing and loans so i think yeah. that's why it's really important to have someone that is a bit is understands business owners no absolutely your your leading is perfect and my goodness we are you open up a huge uh huge flower, <laughs> flowering, flowering tree here for me but um but 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 that is reality reality is the better the better a banker understands a business owner and the better that business owner reaches back at the appropriate time it's going to be um and be a positive experience so my quick example very quick and this is sure. hopefully appropriate because it, it probably came into play with many of the business owners you know is the ppp program okay yeah. perfect example right here we obviously were getting calls from people we never heard of and people that may or may have not been rate shoppers in the past right well what occurred was um we decided to be of service we decided to open up everything for the future opportunity that relationship so we were getting calls predominantly from people with other banks that didn't have that relationship they didn't have that person who would champion that extra application uh, or stay over time or whatnot. I, I don't hope this doesn't happen again, but we worked 45 straight days. Wow. So I did, I did 78 PPP loans. Wow. Um, I, I don't know how many thousands of jobs were affected. I don't even have time to think about that. But our bank became number six in the country, in the country. Wow. Wow. And PPP loans provided, and we're only maybe the top 30 banks in the country uh, based out of Salt Lake. So the example is when you run a relationship or you see a potential, I'm going to reach out too. But when you come to me and ask for something and there's no future, it's really not the kind of bank we are. I mean, I hate to say that, but that's well, you would anything. get that a, a larger bank that's more cookie cutter. And that's okay yeah. for some people. That's okay for some people, don't get me wrong, but a true business owner hopefully sees the value of a relationship. Absolutely, and, and I think that's why we're trying to, that's why I'm trying to bring light to that because there are times, whether you need that line of credit uh, for some new equipment or a new hire or something breaks down, you know, you're know, you only gonna get that through a relationship. So let me ask you something, and this is kind of gonna timestamp us right now. I heard a rumor yesterday that one of the big banks um, like canceled all the all the line of credits that were out there because they were a little out of whack in their balance sheets. And so they pulled all the all the all the um, lines of credit. I mean, you know, if you have a relationship or you have a smaller bank that runs smooth, right, and is is really running operating well, then I don't know that you're going to have that kind of big bank problem um, when you when you have that relationship with a smaller bank such as yours. Well, that's an amazing point you make. And uh, I, I have said uh, maybe too often times is a certain large bank, we don't have to name them. And they say, oh, well, what do you think of them? I go, well, you know, after I hear complaints, I go, oh, I love them. I go, what do you mean, Pete? I go, because that's where I get my customers. Yeah, I get my customers <laughs> from big banks. So that overall, I don't know about that rumor, but it, it is true that when you have a large bank that has a, a, a massive amount of, of uh of processes, they might strike one button that says we're, we're freezing, we're freezing all lines for businesses under 3 million to 100,000. I don't care if they're overdrawn. This is what we have to do to get our back order, our back room in shape. And it's like, wow, I wouldn't want to work for a bank like that. So what that portends into Marcia real quick, quickly is not only on the relationship with the banker is important, but it's that person who's going to get you that that exception, that's what we call yeah. it. An exception yeah. is when I go to bat for the client and the client is worthy and is acknowledging that I need your support because I'm giving you support and who cares what the upper level people say, I can get this done for you. Nice. Nice. And I think that's that's the relationship side of it. So when we when we're talking relationships, just to kind of understand, it's not uh, Marcia and Pete know each other, shake hands, go out to lunch, that kind of thing. It's more along the lines of um, 
products that you have in, in bank, right? Um, I use this example when I explain how my clients should develop um, model banks to create relationships. You get your, your, your checking account there. You set up a savings account. You have a auto loan there. You have a credit card there. You have a home equity line there. You do your home line there. These are relationships, right? These are the multiple kinds of relationships. And the more relationships, more products, um, solutions that you can engage in with that bank, that steps you up in your tier as well, correct? That's absolutely right. And, and, that, and that's, you led me down that path and I took a turn. So that's absolutely right. Say there's a weakness, like you said, there's a downturn. My goodness, 2020, you know, there are a lot of explanations had to come through that we have to understand and things like that. So my job is, is to acknowledge those, but look for strengths. So my question is going to be, hey, this, you know, this business did, you know, was affected this way. What about that property you have that's free and clear? They go, what you, well, if you use that equity, I can assist you in supporting, providing the supportive capital to this business segment or this need or that need. So, so the more I know, the more I find strengths. And when I mm -hmm. find strengths, I build a case. When I build a case, that deal is going to get done. Love it. Love so, it. so I have a lot of weapons. You're not just talking to one person here. You're talking to probably, you know, maybe too many personalities. But uh, we have, <laughs> I have a segment that just does SBA. I know plenty about that. I'm not an expert. I don't want to be an expert. But I you have, have partners. A, correct. I want to be a partner. I have a private bank partner. I have a personal wealth management partner. I obviously have uh, other higher risk partners. I have other types of partners on these products you mentioned. I'm across the hall from the business epicenter of Orange County for Cal Bank of Trust right here in Irvine. Um, I've got a lot of experienced people like that that I can snap to and be that point guard and, 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 and dish the right services to the client, assuming they need them, not forcing right. them, never right, selling course. a product fitting a product, tailoring like a solution, that. looking I for like that strength. That. Good yeah. stuff. You know, that's, that's really important in the, in the, in the business banking world. Um, you know, one of the things that I think um, business owners often forget is, is lining up their assets, right? And, and using them in, a, in the most effective way that can leverage the company positively. Um, and, and let me explain that a little bit. The CPA looks at your previous year and says, oh, you've got these, you depreciated that value, you did this, you did that, right? And, and this is the ultimate goal of the taxes you have to pay. Well, there's also business assets that you have that can help your business grow and make your business look better than maybe you originally thought than just the, the cash on hand and, and the revenue coming in kind of things and the debts you have. Um, so California Bank, I know you guys look like you just explained how to use other assets to strengthen your company. Is, is that right? Yeah, yeah. That's just, that's, just, that's just one role. Like I said, when, when I look for avenues of a solution, I'm going to, that's a relationship. That, and that's what we call deepening the relationship. Mm -hmm. Some people might think of relationship as opening accounts, maybe have them like laying, maybe talking once in a while, mm -hmm. kind of. But a real relationship, hey, what's down the road? How can right. I advise you? Hey, I got your CPA's information from last year. Have you done a projection for this year? And they go, why? Well, so we know if we need to make a move early part of the year, we'll be all set up, right? I so as can. far as the as far as the capital efforts you meant, right. Specifically, we, we could talk about specific examples, but I'll give you one real quick one, one easy one. Okay, um, now they're, they're a pretty strong company. Uh, and I, just, I got a great referral from an internal partner and they couldn't figure out what they wanted to do either to take out money and start paying interest right away or having another way of doing it. And I said, well, why don't you should get a commercial equity line? What's that? I go, well, you know, it's treated like a home equity line. Meaning you have a lot of equity here. You don't need the funds there. We're gonna solve your immediate needs and your future structuring can be supported by availability of funds that are tied to the property. And I don't have to prove much in additional reporting. Is that what you were leaning towards? It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's, that's a real example. That, yeah. and, 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 or, and we're talking, you know, a sizable loan. So it, one that make yeah. it, can make a difference. 
I, th I think it's just giving, giving the business owner ideas. So, um, you know, when, so, so my, my whole practice and my whole philosophy is making sure that your business is um, in a, in a position to be sold someday, whenever that is, you know, and, and a, a strong business is an attractive business and a strong business right now has a lot of opportunities. And when you partner up with a banker and you have um, the opportunities that you can, you make your, you make your business stronger. And, and it's just one more pillar that, that, that I think is so important that business owners forget about is how to strengthen their financial side, the, 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 their ability to borrow, their relationships, their, the time that they have and, and bringing the money in before it goes out. These are, these are cash flow um, you know, options and it can only be done with a business banking relationship. It can't be done on your own. Yeah. Yeah, you know? no, Marcy, you're exactly right. So it's uh, yeah, that's perfect. So it's your role is to uh, one of your roles is to be an advisor and help people see the path down. Should they consider a sale or an acquisition or to be a quieter or a merger or whatnot? That's perfect. I I would have a minor role in that, but I need to be in touch with those advisors, folks like you, folks like a business attorney, folks like uh, somebody might raise additional capital, and then I'm going to go in and say, hey, you know, I, I see some debt on here that we could probably clean up. Or, um, or hey, have you have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? So um, I play a role in that too, and that's that's exactly right. The future path of the company needs needs a number of advisors, and 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 I, I'd be a supportive role in that. That's extremely extremely important. Yeah, so it's great to have. It's great to have. Okay, so let's talk about some of the some of the things, um, you know, we, we talked about the relationship so deeply, but let's talk in generality about product solutions that maybe the business owner didn't know about that could benefit their company and ultimately their cash flow and profitability. So we know about the commercial line, right? What other kind of products and solutions um, should the business owner know about? Sure. Well, it, it, it depends on the size of the business uh, and, and, and the growth path. So one thing is that I, I maybe I self-taught myself this, but I used to ask three questions. I don't anymore. I'd say, hey, where have you been with the business? Tell me the history. That's, that means I can learn. Where are you at now? That means I have a clear picture of what can be done. And where do you want to be? Where do you want to go? I exactly. ask those three questions sometimes when, when appropriate. And, uh, and then I can uh, carve out something. So um, uh, you're exactly right. We could do a line of credit that's unsecured, a small line, meaning, well, why do I need that, Pete? I have a credit card. I go, well, your, your credit card is one thing, but that's not business credit. That doesn't right. establish a relationship with me. Okay, great, Pete, what's the next step? I said, well, you know, we, we might be able to improve your home equity line. Well, why do I need that? Well, you probably don't need it now, but I've noticed your neighbors, you know, have gone up, you know, 300,000. Have you revisited that? Just like revisiting an insurance policy. Um, but my main focus, my main focus is going to be, you're absolutely right, availability of capital in a business line of credit, which is based on the profitability or potentially some of the assets and the receivables and the backlog. Um, I'm going to look at term loans, very important. Term loans are going to let me clean up old debt and allow a improved cash flow without stringing it along another 40 years. Not that, but improve the cash flow picture so that, believe it or not, at 1231.21, you'll see an improvement, 20, 30, 40,000. Why? Because you're paying that less interest and you've gotten rid of some debt that you just kept dragging along, be it for a service truck be it for uh, equipment, be it for even technology. Um, yeah. my, the mainstay is that the big fish, obviously, is the commercial real estate. Um, any, any current small business that doesn't understand that they can uh, work with me to do a before and after picture of rent versus buy using maybe the SBA program, which is just 10% down, and then I'm, I'm going to leave my punchline on that because, as I mentioned earlier, the rates it's a shame to not take advantage of the attractive rates right now. We'll chat on that in a minute. Yeah, but that's a fantastic idea because most business owners don't think they can buy the building that they're in, but that's a huge, huge investment in your business that you could make that could actually lead to retirement income later on. You can 
like here, here's, here's the thought that I always, um, you know, highlight with my business owners is if you own the property and you own the, the, the business inside the business, you, they can be two separate entities. And then when you sell your business later on, that business can rent back the property to you and you have a lifetime of income coming on that. So there are huge advantages to consider buying business property, small building, they got, they got business condos, they've got, you know, sure, 20 story buildings, which would be fantastic. Um, but even the, even the business condo that you're in, if you're a small micro sized business is still an advantage for you. And like you said, Pete, it's so easy to get right with SBA. Yeah, I mean, easy is one term, but uh, like I said, the, the rates are so attractive. Yeah, the rates are so attractive that um, right now it is just kind of a golden time. Now, the other flip side of that, as you know, is we're kind of in a hot real estate market too, but not only, and, and maybe inflationary, but not only values going up, and I'm not talking residential, residential is completely different, and that's, that's probably done, done. A, a bigger <laughs> boost, but commercially, the, the amount of lease you'll get per square foot has gone up pretty nicely in our area, which means more rents, you can get a better size loan or it fits the loan better. Um, but yeah, that, that's one way of doing it. So yeah, I think we're, you know, we're a very strong SBA lender and that's very important for smaller businesses and then to recognize that, hey, hey, let's, let's talk about the future of this property and, um, I had a quick flashback, I hope you don't mind, but there, were, there was a pretty good documentary in, on, on uh, McDonald's, the McDonald's story, you probably certain, I forgot the name of it, and Michael Keaton was the guy. So at one point in time, which I knew was coming, he says, we're not in the burger business, guys, we're, we're, in, the real estate, we're in the real estate business, meaning they wanted to control plots to build and then, and then develop and sell that whole packet to a franchisees, and boom. Uh, right. Th that full service is, is is what created the empire. Wow, that's fantastic. And also, if you think about it, the opportunity of buying that land, you end up paying yourself the rent, and then there's that's so right. much more tax deductions that you that's can right. have because you're paying right. yourself the rent and not just not just having a, an expense that's going to be there anyways, right? That's, Why not pay that's it right. into your own pocket or to pay your own loan? than to do that. And um, so, yeah, there's so many opportunities. Business owners, we just want you to think about all the important things that you can do with the money that you have coming in and the money that's going out and how to maximize that in the most potential way by having a relationship with a banker, a business banker that is um, that can help you grow your business. I mean, that's what yeah. we're all here for, right? If you're yeah. not growing your business, you're dead. Yeah, you that's kind of true. <laughs> so, so Mars, one quick point on that, I'll be very quick, and we haven't talked about this, was transparency. So transparency is the way I believe in, and I was taught this early on my banking. I mean, you don't give away the farm of information or proprietary, but I show business owners how the bank looks at the deal on one page. So I'm going to say, you know, this is the income, these are the expected expenses, this is this, this is the expected, what we call debt service, this is reality. You can do this. Here's the rents you're paying. We add those back. That's the credit. Those are going away. These are things that a business owner might not have time to put together. And a, a commercial real estate broker is really not going to know what goes on with the bank. You need a good banker to lead you or shepherd you to reality. And reality right. is a lot of people don't understand that they can, they can gain that property. They can put that foothold and they can keep it or, you know, within the family and, 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 earn, and earn in the future. It's, it's a business asset that we all need to look at. Our employees are a business asset. Our, our, our equipment is our business asset. And um, you know our, our money is a business asset. So make it strong. Make, yeah. Do all the right things with it. And so true. I would encourage you listeners to go out and find a relationship with a banker. Pete's awesome. He's local here in California, but Pete, don't you have other opportunities? I mean, with people all over the area? Yeah, I do. So two quick points is that uh, the nice thing that I've always found is that we're a business bank in California called California Bank and Trust, larger than a community bank, but not a big, slow plotting bank. So I'm a business bank, but I have the resources of a large bank, and we're based out of a Salt Lake City. 
they have uh, seven affiliate sister banks, so to speak. So I'm in 11 Western states and we have an international banking department as well. Fantastic, lots of opportunities. All right, Pete, so you told us California Bank and Trust, where can listeners find out more about you and maybe some of the solutions you provide or if they're out of state, maybe the referral that they're looking for to the next business banker they can get with. Yeah, that's all true. I'd encourage them just to go to our website at, uh, uh, it's just www.calbt or calbanktrust.com. It's kind of like Cal bacon, lettuce, and tomato, I guess, <laughs> is what I think of sometimes. Uh, my name is uh, Pete Black, uh, but my email is peter.black at calbank.com. Uh, and um, that's fantastic, Marcia. Can, can, I, can I tell you about my kicker, my punchline? Yeah, come on, give it to okay. us. Okay, so my punchline to, to all the folks considering commercial real estate and the windows getting tighter between now and the end of October Rates are the lowest I've seen in my in my history in banking. So, um, without further uh, deep, um, I just say, uh, I just uh, share it with us. Tell us, tell yeah. us, tell us. I, I'm spitting out my 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 punchline too too slowly. For owner occupied purchases or refinances, please please listen. Point <laughs> nine zero for the first twelve months, below one percent fixed. Wow. Wow. The next nine years. 2.99 fixed fees 0.00 .00. opportunity to go out to 30 year amortization which is unheard of in commercial properties again purchase or refi must be owner occupied meaning your business occupies 51 percent of the area and that operating business it could be profit or nonprofit, could be both they help pay the bills so 0 0.90, 2.99, 10 year fixed, our money, even if rates double in the next two months, but they won't, that prepay shortened down after two and a half years, you're free to go. Wow. And, and <laughs> a $5,000 credit at closing towards appraisal and other reports, 5,000 credit. Wow, it's if that's not the, free, I don't know. <laughs> off the hook. So I'm, wow. I'm, 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 my lines are open. Your but lines I hate, are open. <laughs> I hate to celebrate, but I got to be honest with you, this environment, business owners need to be aware of the window that they have. It's an incredible opportunity. And with, with help like companies from yourself, you know, uh, almost anybody can get approved. If you're a solid business, you know, if you're a growing business and you can get your books together and make yourself, I mean, it's, and didn't you say super low down? I mean, if it's SBA or you know, 20% down, or, I mean, there's opportunities. 10% down. 10% down. So those, so those rates I just mentioned apply to what's essentially a 90% loan to value That's with crazy. an SBA transaction called the 504, which I partner with, obviously. And another silly, ridiculous kicker, we're running out of time here, uh, not us, but uh, the SBA is still saying they will pay your first two months of payments of their portion up to 9,000 a month, but that, that ends end of September. So but, the I mean, there's opportunities, those kind of opportunities, business owners don't know about. They think they've got to have, you know, they got to buy it outright, or they've got to have stellar credit, or they've got to have all these things. When you have a business banker such as yourself in California Bank and Trust, you know that they're going to go to bat for you. They're going to work with you. They're going to tell you what you need to do. They're going to help you with your CPA and, and get everything working right. Because, you know, they want your relationship and they want to help you thrive. And that's, to me, what every business needs to have is someone behind them saying, we want to help you grow. We want to help you succeed, right? You can't yeah. do it alone. So have a bank to do help you with it. Fantastic. I'll go to bat for them. What can I say? Love it. Love it. Love it. Hey, listeners, this has been a fantastic conversation today. I hope you've gotten an idea or two to help your business become more profitable. And uh, just a reminder now more than ever, it's important to have your own profit plan and having a business relationship and the potential to buy your property or have a line of credit. That's part of that profit plan. It's making sure every opportunity is your way. So don't forget to pick up my five ways to turn your business into one worth selling right now. Go to my website, trajectorybiz, that's B-I-Z.com. 
And we would love, Pete and I would love to hear your questions or feedback on today's show. Comment, please. And don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you catch us for future shows when great this, this great information. And as Pete said earlier, there's I've got a, a history of over 100 shows with value in there. So subscribe, join us. You can always catch Profit with a Plan on any of your favorite podcast players. And we're looking forward to more great profitable information on next week's show. So until then, make your plans and profit with them. Thanks, Pete. Thank you. It was a pleasure, Marcia. Thank you.